Hello everybody, my name is Quincy and uh, today I'm going to show you how to turn your Calibre library run, run locally on your desktop into a Calibre library run from your server and accessible from the web. The first thing you want to do, uh, and really what I'm assuming here is that you have your FreeNAS already hooked up and running. The first thing you want to do inside of your FreeNAS is navigate to the jail section here. And then we're going to be on the jail sub tab. And the first thing I'm going to have you do is make a new jail. <clears throat> we're going to call this jail caliber one. That's just a convention is to put the one. You can see I've done that with my other servers. And then you can press OK. I have already created mine, as you can see here. So I don't want to create it again. Um, it takes a while to create a jail, so just hang on. And you'll notice you could have set in the advanced mode here. You can set your IPv4 address. If you care about what that is, go ahead and change that. It's going to run automatically by default on port 8080, which we'll see in a minute. OK, the second step is we're going to go and add storage. I think this is an optional step. You can do this um, another way using the command line, which we'll see in a minute. Um, I generally just like to use this interface here to add storage so you can press the add storage button we're gonna say this is our caliber jail this just makes it so our destination has a root at the caliber here at the caliber uh, directory we're gonna choose for our source where our books are stored on our server mine are stored on my hard drive uh, under my name and under the books here. Now, I recommend that you somehow, you know, go to your book section. They don't need to be sorted the way they are represented here. It has already been sorted by caliber. I have my box synced up, so uh, whatever happens in my jail will come and happen in my books area too. Uh, and then you're going to want to add it to add directory inside of your books <clears throat> okay so I would just say hit books and this is your source and for your destination we're gonna go into by convention I saw other people were using the mount so we're going to mount and then you'll just type slash books and that will create the books directory you see I've already got one here and then you click OK and then that creates, you see, the storage here from my books directory in my hard drive space to the media or mount slash books on, in my jail. Okay, third step, there's two ways of accessing the jail. The first step I'll show you is uh, starts at the root of the FreeNAS and you're going to type in JLS, which will show you your jails and their ID. You want to find caliber and find its ID number and then we're going to type jexec 6 tsh to get into the root of the caliber server which is shown here okay the alternate way of getting into that area is by going to the jails tab and the jails sub tab clicking on the caliber jail and then starting the shell from the bottom of the screen okay as you can see this is the same places we were before at the root of the caliber server first thing we want to do is install a text editor editor using package install command pkg install and then for this demonstration I'm gonna install nano which I've already installed and so it tells me this uh, next thing we want to do is install caliber in the jail so we say package install Caliber. I'm not positive whether it's capitalized or not, but I'm not going to push enter. But you would type that command in and press enter, uh, and then it runs all the scripts to set up Caliber. Next, we're going to go into the uh, the main file that tells you what other files we'll need to change in order to set up our Caliber database. So I'm going to go in using nano, use the extension dash c to show the line numbers columns is what that stands for. And then we're going to go into user 
slash local slash etc slash rc dot d slash caliber and hit enter. Okay, the first few lines here are going to show us that we need to be changing the file etc dash rc dot config you can see right here in order to enable the the caliber server. The um, commands that we're going to take away here are the caliber underscore enable and we're going to set that equal to yes and then we're also going to want to uh, use caliber user and caliber library which it says here is the path to library folder to serve content from the only change we're going to be making in this file is we're going to go down down to line 33 38 pardon and then we're going to change this from what it was before I think it was unknown or maybe it was caliber I guess that's what I wrote down here in the comments and you're going to change this to root as you see I've done here and then we're going to exit the uh, shell using control shift X if it prompts you to save press yes or capital Y um, and then we're going to go into the file which it just told us to which is nano etc etc slash rc dot config if you've done that correctly you will s already see about the first uh, 12 lines 15 lines whatever and we're going to add these last three that say caliber enable equals double quotes yes caliber user is double quotes root which isn't necessary you could have created a, a user named caliber but here we're going to use root because it's easy and then the caliber library is starting from the root of the caliber server the path to where your books are going to be served from um, I've elected to use mount slash books as was described previously so add those three lines and then we're going to exit and then the very last thing we're going to do in order to get our books into the database from the root of the caliber uh, server, we're going to type in caliber db add, and then the path to our source, which is mount slash books slash underscore to add slash star. So this is uh, where it's going to look for the books, and then it's going to say here's a path to where the library is located and the destination is mount books okay caliber db no match okay um, I think that's fine I don't have any books in there currently so if you did that would work for you and then hopefully you'd be able to go to caliber click on all books or whatever and it would host your books and you'd see it and that pretty much concludes what you would expect to see uh, in order to get the server up and running <clears throat> additionally what you can do here is uh, create a cron job we'll say we'll go there next in order to do that you're gonna want to create a task and this isn't something I'm very familiar with but you're gonna go to the tasks tab click on add cron job for the user we'll say root and then uh, you create a command and this is going to be in a single line and you can use a semicolons to segment them I have not gotten this to work but you can see the command that I have typed in here with the assumption that we're starting at the root directory I can say jexec 6 csh which will get me into the root of the caliber server and then I can use the command caliber db add source destination and then one trick I use is I, I will then remove it from my to add directory I'll remove all the files that I've just added and then I will exit the caliber server and go back to the root this seems to me like it should work it doesn't so if anybody does figure this out I would be interested to know this is just a way to update automatically or periodically you know I think I set mine to set to every 15 minutes run this script.
so it would update my library every 15 minutes. And like I said, you just get something like this, uh, which is a handy way to access your books from anywhere. Now the very last thing I'm going to show you today is how to set up port forwarding. You're going to want to go to the address of your router, which I think by default on most computers is something like that. And then you just type in the password, which is always going to just be admin and password if you haven't changed it. It's in advanced settings and advanced setup. You're going to click on port forwarding and port triggering. <coughs> You can see I've already created a number of port forwarding so that when I type in the name of my website from anywhere uh, outside of my home network, um, it automatically, if I'm using HTTP or FTP, will go through these ports and go to this internal address here. Um, so in order to add something like that, you say add a custom service. First thing you're going to do is just give it a name. I call mine Caliber. Um, and then we're going to say the external starting port. So if somebody is accessing from the port 8080, um, then we're going to send them to the internal address of whatever your Caliber server is running on. So to check that, go back to the Jails tab and then check your IPv4 address here. And so I've set that to match it. And then you press apply. I've already done it, as you can see here. And it works from outside of my home network. That pretty much wraps up the tutorial part. Um, if anyone has any suggestions on how to alter the metadata or somehow do a better job of organizing these, please let me know. You see here I added a file. I did not call it Brown 3E09 LBJ. It goes to its website, which gets the metadata, and then it renames it something. I would like to change that, and I would like to add that that change appear on all my synchronized devices. If anybody knows of a solution or a better way of managing your library, do uh, leave a comment and. Hopefully we can make that available to others. Thank you.